join a Google Meet. Access your meeting your way. We all have our favorite place to access Google Meet. For some, it's in the Gmail interface, for others, through chat messages, and perhaps even in a Google document. Today, we're going to view all the ways you can join a Google Meet. How many will you know? First up is full participant mode. This mode we are all most familiar with as it's accessible across the entire Google workspace or by link. While a host is required to have a Google account to set up a Google Meet, participants can join from a link without having a Google account. If joining as a full participant, all interaction elements are available. Exactly what is available does depend on the host's workspace edition. Next up is companion mode. Companion mode can be engaged from the green room screen before entering Google Meet. This is most often used for in-room attendees of a hybrid meeting who want to access the activity features or a hybrid participant who desires a second screen and wants to avoid feedback. Important to remember about companion mode is that the microphone is fully disabled in companion mode. By default, the video feed is turned off, but the video feed can be re-engaged if required. Dial-in options allow a participant to join in in an audio-only capacity. Useful for joining a meeting on the move or when wishing to provide audio separately, there is no video feed or interaction elements available in this mode. Participants might be invited to join a live stream from a calendar invite or a link. Live streaming allows up to 100,000 in-domain viewers of a streamed event. Participants joining in view-only mode will have no interactive functions. There are some limitations around participant modes in Google Meet. These are dependent on the Google Workspace edition. Business Starter has the standard 24-hour meeting length but a limit of 100 participants in the meeting, including those dialed in or accessing in companion mode. At business standard level, the amount of participants jumps to 150, and in business plus, this increases yet again to 500. When hosting at enterprise level, the number of participants doesn't increase, but the ability to live stream kicks in, allowing for communication without an unwieldy number of participants on the call. The education packages vary in participant numbers from 100 at its lowest to 500 at the top level. All editions allow for companion and dial-in access is available at Education Plus level. Streaming is available as part of the teaching and learning upgrade and in Education Plus. Remember that the available functionality is tied to the host or organizer account. So if you are joining a meet set up by a host on a higher package, the functionality is available. And most importantly, as I'm asked this regularly, your client, stakeholder, student or delegate does not need a Google account to access as a participant. And unlike other providers, doesn't have to go through the rigmarole of downloading software. The link will bring them to the Meet Green Room and with one click, you can admit them. As I mentioned earlier, there are a number of places in which to access your Meet. These differ depending on how you wish to access. To join as a full participant, you can join from all the access points in Google Workspace and by a shared link. From the Gmail interface, you can find a join button contained in the invite email. Alternatively, you can access through the integrated Meet icon. In Calendar, click the relevant invite to see details and access the Meet link. If you are working in a document, slide deck or sheet, clicking the Meet icon on the Google bar will display any upcoming meetings for the day. Select the correct Meet and join the call from the pop-up green room. If the event was created in Spaces, clicking the message will open the side-by-side -side view calendar. Click the event and use the Meet link. Lastly, if your colleague has provided a link, drop that into the Omnibox or search bar and you will be redirected to the Meet location. Accessing in companion mode is essentially only available once you get to the green room of the Meet app, where the companion option is visible. 
This is not visible in the green room pop-up inside the editors and companion mode is currently only available in a web browser. Dial-in details are accessible in Gmail, Calendar and in the Meet app. Importantly, there are a few options available for dial-in. If you have Google Meet Global Dialing engaged, you can have Google Meet call your phone by selecting the phone audio option in the green room. Select Call Me. Calls to the USA and Canada numbers are free. If you are in another region and have Global Dialing engaged, you will see alternative countries available. You can add your phone number before clicking Call Me and Join. Without global dialing engaged, you can dial into the meeting using a local number. This number is located in the meeting invite in Gmail, in the events detail card in Calendar, in the meeting info in the Meet application, or from the green room in the audio options. Lastly, if you have a participant with no internet connection or without the link to join, it is possible to dial that participant in from inside the Meet. Vinton covered this function back in 2021. Check out the video if you're interested in more detail on that function. To join a live stream of a Meet, you have many options depending on your participant type. Let's quickly understand the two possible types of participants in a live stream. As a participant in a Google Meet live stream, you will be invited by the organizer to join as a presenter or a viewer. Presenters or full participants will join a Google Meet window as normal. This will allow them to start or stop the live stream, blur or apply a background for their video, present their screen, record the meeting, unmute to speak, live chat with other full participants and ultimately leave the call. The viewer is invited to a viewing window. Their camera and microphone will not be engaged. They can view any screens presented by the full presenters and they can hear any unmuted presenters if they are speaking or if they're in a noisy environment they will see the video tile of any unmuted presenter who speaks or makes noise. The viewer can affect their view of the stream by stopping and starting the live playback and adjusting the speed and video quality. A viewer can access the live stream from Gmail in the stream invite, from the Meet app by clicking the live stream link, by accessing the live stream link in a calendar detail card or by using the link in the Omnibox or search bar. Remember, if undertaking a live stream, the live stream can only be viewed whilst being broadcast live. If you want viewers to view asynchronously, the presenters will need to record the stream and distribute after the broadcast. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of all the ways to access Google Meet. Do let us know about your experiences. Next time, we're going to take a look at how to control your Google Meet and understand the roles of hosts and co-hosts. Until next week, see you then.